Hello everybody, this is Karma Killed the Cat, and welcome to your 15th Lua tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over the first of the standard libraries, the math library. So you can see I've already listed all the functions out, along with a brief explanation of what they do. So I'm just going to tell you what each one does. So this is going to be a very short tutorial, so I'll have another one out this week. So first, the math.absoluteValue, which gives you the absolute value of the input. Uh, the a cos a sin and a tan, the inverse cosine sine and tangent, uh, a tan two. This gives you the inverse tangent, but you give it two parameters instead of dividing the opposite over the adjacent. Math dot seal rounds the number up. Math dot floor rounds the number down. Math dot cosine sine and tangent just give you the cosine sine and tangent. Uh, Cos h, sin h, and tan h give you the hyperbolic cosine, sine, and tangent. Math.deg, uh, it converts from radians to degrees. Math.red does the opposite. Math.x raises e to the input power. And math.log gives you the natural logarithm of the input. Log 10 gives you the logarithm of base 10 to the input. Math.power raises the first input to the second input. Math.min returns the smallest of the input numbers, and math.max gives you the largest. Uh, Math.modf, it separates the number into the integer part and the fractional part, so this would return two values. It would give you 5, and then it would give you 0 0.4. Math.squareRoot gives you the square root of the input. Math.random gives you a random number between the first input and the second input. Math.randomseed seeds the... Uh, it seeds the random to the input, so you usually put os.time. We'll get into more of what this function does in the os tutorial. But just know that this is how you get the time. And if you want to know more about random numbers and why you need to seed it to the time, look up a separate tutorial on that, because I'm expecting that you already know that. So I'm not quite sure what this one does. It The Lua documentation says that it splits the parameter into a normalized and fraction exponent. So I just wrote that there. I uh, just look at it, look at it on the documentation, and if you understand it, great. If you don't, just don't use it. I'm not sure what it's used for. And this is the inverse function of that. And then math.huge just represents infinity. It's the largest number you can get. And math.pi is obviously pi. So that's all for this tutorial. Again, very short tutorial. So I'll have another one out today, or today or tomorrow, probably. So that next tutorial will be the table library, so see you in the next tutorial.